Hello and welcome to today's tutorial. In this video we're going to take a look at how to calculate the date automatically in SAS. So let's start by looking at line 8. On line 8 we've got the function INTNX and it's got four parameters month, today, minus 1, and B. The month parameter is just a unit of time. Today is a function that grabs the current date when you execute the code. Minus 1 tells the function to go back one unit of time, which in this case is month. And b tells the function to go to the beginning of the month, or the unit of time, which happens to be month. So if we take all four parameters together and assume today is August 12, 2015, as I put on line 6 in my comment, then what should happen is it will grab the current date using the today function which is August 12, 2015 then it will go back one unit of time which is one month so now it's July 12, 2015 then it will go to the beginning of the month because of the B parameter so instead of July 12, 2015, it's going to go to July 1st, 2015. So date 1 should equal July 1st, 2015 if we run the code. So let's run the code and take a look. Okay, so what we have here is a date of 20270. Now this is the date that SAS stores uh, values or how, how SAS stores date values. For most of us we can't understand that. We can calculate it but I won't get into that. So for us to know what the date really is we need to actually apply a format so that we can read the date easily and we're going to use the format function uh, statement and we're going to format date one and we're going to use the yymmdd 10 dot format SAS has got a lot of format date formats I won't get into them I'll probably talk about them in another tutorial but for today, we'll just use this format and run the code and take a look at it again. Okay, so now it's in a format we can all read. It says July 1st, 2015, which is what we expected. And now we can also try changing the function so that we get a better understanding of this INTNX function. So as I, as I mentioned this B parameter tells it to go to the beginning of the month. We can also tell the function to go to the end of the month by changing that to an E. So we should get July 31st 2015. So let's take a look. And there you have it. You've got July 31st, 2015. We could also change this parameter, minus 2, and that means it's going to go back two months, so instead of July, it's going to go to June. Let's run the code again. And it's July 30th, June 30th, which is what we expected. So there you have it. That's how to calculate the date automatically in SAS. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you have any questions you can post them in the comments below. You can also like the video and I'm also going to post them on my website in the link below so that you can copy the code and I'll have more samples of the code, more variations of the code on the website. So thanks a lot and have a great day.